hello guys welcome to today's video and um, this is a trust Stanley's um, TS tech talk channel video so on today's video guys I'm going to show you how to grow your channel making use of the vidIQ channel audit um, tool so um, I already showed you guys some things that vidIQ can do on my previous video please go and watch that if you want to know how the keyword SEO work and the rest of things so guys we actually come to the important things since we are making YouTube videos and we are seeing how the videos are going how about if you are comparing the videos and you seen or you have a way to actually check how your videos are performing properly on the channel and even though youtube might not have all of those um might not show you those uh, um, those possibilities properly um, you can actually do this on the vidIQ tool so you already know how to install the vidIQ so let's dive into that just open your studio dot studio.youtube.com you can notice the url right there and then it's going to bring you to this area once you are in this area to make use of the vidIQ um, tools or the vidIQ channel audit tools you notice on this area right here just after the search icon you notice this area where you have the vidIQ logo click on this three dotted um, icon that has this menu this is actually a menu click on that and it's going to bring you a drop down on this bottom section so you are going to notice where it says channel audit go ahead and click on that so when you click on the channel audit it's going to bring you to this area now if you pay attention to this area this is your view and you can notice it says view this month and view last month so this is the view i got this month and this is the one i got last month and this is also my subscribers and this is what i got this month and this is what i got last month you can notice this month is just starting so it's still fair it's going to improve this is what i got this month and this is what i got last month and these are my videos also so these are showing me all of my channel video and all those things that um probably you will not see on youtube you can notice under this area it has um view per hours it's um an abbreviation vph and it has one and one and this one also these are all view per hour and this is actually my competitors view per hour so i can decide to improve my video by watching my competitors or checking how the performance is going but we'll come to that later on so there are even more right here and it cannot show you the rest of them because i'm not making use of the pro version and also guys if you want to check out this uh, particular application click on this area to use the pro version or you check on my um on the link on this video i'm going to leave a link so that you guys can click on and navigate to the right website so under this area you notice the total watch minutes this is actually very important and this is also important the average watch minute is this and also the retention so the retention is actually very high on this is which is actually a short video and this is also on the top suggested video this is actually the normal video and this is also a normal video these are not video from my channel these are suggested video that are referring people to come watch videos on my channel so um let's go ahead and look into this first one called um the views that you've gotten v uh views m o m which is actually month so you click on that and it's going to give you a comparison session where it's going to compare your previous video versus your um recent video previous video which is actually the previous month and then the current month also so let's wait for that to load up okay it's almost done all right guys so here we are and this is still the youtube uh youtube so we can also check this comparison on youtube you can notice on this area it says comparison but um vidiq actually makes it easy it looks as if these tools are not available do not worry i'm going to show you guys how to do this later on on youtube so now let's go ahead um this is actually my traffic source i can click on this to see my traffic source this uh, default is actually the content and then this is my traffic source this is my um, demography cities and all of them there are so many things right here to view but let's go back to the content area let me show you guys the source for the content this is not the only thing it's showing so under this area when you hover on it you can actually notice the particular date so on the 3rd of february i got 13 view but on the 3rd of um january i got 26 view so this is actually the view from february to march 3rd 
and from January to uh, February 2nd. So this, you can easily see their statistics about the February and also the, um, the January. I was actually expecting only February and March. So when you scroll down a little bit, you are going to see the content because it's actually, the content actually means your video. So this is the most trending video is actually a short video and that video is just 16 seconds. So this is the video and it actually gave me 30 K view. And this is the next video, which is actually a gaming video I played and is also a short. And now this is a long video. So all of this video is actually what gave me view the previous month. And now this is the video that is giving me the views I am getting right now. Okay. This is my older video. This is January to February. And this is February 3rd to March. So I think this is the most recent one. So you can now see how my stats has been doing. If I spend too much time on this video, I'm going to end up showing you guys everything and it's not going to make sense. So this is a comparison of my performance from the previous month to the other month. Now, the reason why this is so important is when you pay attention to the video that is actually giving you a lot of view, you can now make videos relating to those kind of video. So if I make video relating to this kind of video, I'm going to be getting more views because I already made this video and it already gave me view. So if I'm making more video, it's going to be appearing more on the suggested session, which is the reason why it's very important to actually make use of your channel audit. So when you come over to your channel audit, I can also come to my traffic source to actually see where exactly um, these views are coming from. And I can also compare it with my previous one to be able to know how my channel is performing so this one is coming from youtube search and this is also from youtube short and this is from youtube so short and the next one is actually from suggested video so you can now see that um i have more view on my youtube search on this recent month than the older month this is my youtube short um, my youtube search on the older month and you can see how much view i actually had there so you can now compare these two and then you can now decide on the one that you are going to stick on making. But I think this is actually looking more healthier than this one. So depending on you, pay attention to both of them and you can easily decide on the one you want to choose. I can still go over to the demography to also see how um, the demography affected my channel recently. But I think a lot have to do with the recent one because I think recently my view have been making attention to Oh, that is a surprise. Okay, so I have a lot of view coming from Nigeria than the United States. And I also have a lot of view coming from Nigeria here than the United States, which means I have to pay more attention to Nigeria. And beside that, I'm also from Nigeria. On my TS Tech Talk channel, it's actually the opposite. I have a lot of view coming from the United States than Nigeria. So since I have a lot of view coming to Nigeria, that means I have to focus a lot more on my channels or my views um, coming to Nigeria. So I have to make a lot of content relating to Nigerian content. So this is the reason why channel audit is very important. Guys, you know the funny thing, before now I've actually not checked my demography, um, which is actually very bad for a content creator. As a content creator, you should always check your um, geography is actually very important. So checking that will actually help you to decide what kind of content you are making because if you are going to trending tab or you are making use of Google Trends, you also have to be making use of um, the um, geolocation, which is actually very important. But if you don't know where your traffic is coming from, you cannot know where you focus on. So right now, I have been able to decide that I've been able to notice that my traffic is coming a lot from Nigeria, which means I'm going to be making a lot of content um, from Nigeria. So guys, this is all about how to make channel audit and it only came about from this way you can also do the same thing by clicking on this area clicking on the subscriber count and also clicking on the watch minute and you get the same results just like i did just like i got right now so i only did this just to show you guys because this is actually the most important thing i'm always imp um, interested in getting views to come to my channel more than the subscribers and the minutes so the subscriber is also very important, but this is most important. People cannot subscribe to your channel if they did not watch your video. So if you're getting a lot of view, then you'll be getting a lot of subscribers. Then people will be paying more attention to you and spending more time. So this is the most important thing. So pay a lot of attention to this particular part, but they are all important if you are a new content creator. 
So thank you guys for watching the video. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, don't forget to smash like and subscribe. I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.